For today's recipe, Link will be joined by IQ, Gastro Bob, and Yar, Captain Cook. And backed up as always by Guinea Page and the Animal Crackers. Hey guys, I've got buttermilk. I love buttermilk. Buttermilk is a slightly sour liquid that tastes kind of like yogurt. Hmm, I've got an idea. Let's make buttermilk biscuits. I've got two cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter cup of cold, unsalted butter, cubed, and one cup of buttermilk. The mise en place. French for everything in its place. Link has got all his ingredients. Washed, peeled, chopped, sliced or diced, poured, measured, and ready to go so we can get right into the game of cooking. For amateurs and professionals in the kitchen, it's a smart play to be organized. To get the biscuit recipe started, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450 degrees. I like me lads. We've got our own type of biscuits. Sea biscuits. Us pirates take them with us on long voyages because they keep for so long. Oh. You got to soak them in water. They be hard as rocks. I look forward to your nice, light, fluffy biscuits. Yar! Fluffy buttermilk biscuits coming right up, Captain Cook. But first, we're gonna line the baking sheet with this. Parchment paper! It's not the kind you write on. It's made just for baking and has a non-stick surface so the biscuits don't stick to the baking sheet. Now, let's get to our recipe. Let's sift together our dry ingredients. Two cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. And to get them light and fluffy, we're gonna use a leavening agent. Baking soda. Thanks, secret agent man. A leavening agent is what gets the biscuit dough to rise in the oven. In this case, baking soda. But that's not all, Link. <laughs> to activate your baking soda, which is a base, you need an acid. Hmm, an acid? That sounds like something sour, like vinegar or lemon juice. But my recipe doesn't call for any of that. Hmm. Wait a minute. The buttermilk is tangy. I wonder if that's acidic. But how can we prove it? With science! Both these beakers contain baking soda. Watch what happens when we add water. Nothing happens because water doesn't contain any acid. Now we'll add your buttermilk into the second beaker. <laughs> it's bubbling, it's bubbling. Affirmative, Gastro Bob. Buttermilk gets its tangy sourness from lactic acid. When you add lactic acid to baking soda, a chemical reaction occurs and you create carbon dioxide or CO2 gas. Combining an acid and a base creates a chemical reaction. Buttermilk mixed with baking soda creates CO2, which makes our biscuits levitate. Whoa! Baking soda's pretty cool. Let's sift it in. Now that we've sifted all our dry ingredients together, let's give it a good mix. And 
Now it's time to add our quarter cup of butter. Working quickly and using a light touch from your fingers, incorporate the butter into the flour mixture till it's the size of peas. This is perfect for our biscuits. It's important to add the buttermilk in last so the acid and base reaction happen at the end. This will get the CO2 bubbling as you shape the biscuits before you put them in the oven. If you add the buttermilk too soon, like before you cut in the butter, you might get hard biscuits, like hockey pucks. Yar. Once it starts to leave the sides of the bowl, you got dough. It should be slightly sticky. If it's not, you can add up to two tablespoons of buttermilk. Now it's time to knead up. Whoa! How does he do that? Gastro Blasters, and what a day for witnessing the Ninja Kneader in action. With a punch and a kick, whoa! That dough was not expecting the Ninja Kneader to unfold a hand chop. Take a look at that. The Ninja Kneader got a hold of the dough with an open fist, followed by an open throw, all in the name of developing gluten. But be careful, we don't want to disturb the chemical reaction between the baking soda and the buttermilk. Also, too much kneading can also cause too much gluten in the flour and toughen our dough. Whoa! Now it's time to roll out our dough using a floured covered rolling pin to a thickness of about one inch. Then we'll cut the dough into two inch rounds using a cookie cutter or a straight rim glass. This should leave us with about 12 biscuits. This is gonna take a while. Lab rat, speed it up! These biscuits are ready for the oven. Just make sure none of your biscuits are touching because they're gonna increase in size while they're baking. That's from the CO2 caused by the buttermilk and the baking soda. We're gonna bake these for about 12 minutes or until they're golden. Gastro Bob, got your timer ready? You bet you, Link. We're all set. Now it's time to tidy up. Let's tidy up, let's tidy up. Let's tidy up when you finish and the cooking's done. Let's tidy up even though you had lots of fun. Let's tidy up. Gotta clean up the pots and pans. Let's tidy up. Put them away. You gotta wash your hands. Put the butter away, you put the bread in the crisper and what do you say? You said, look at my kitchen, it's finally clean. You gotta do your best to clean up your mess and tidy up. Those look delicious, Link. Eureka, I wonder if we can make biscuits even more fluffy with more carbon dioxide. We just need more baking soda base. <laughs> and something more acidic than lactic acid in buttermilk. Mmm, I know, vinegar. Oh, wait, Gastro Bob, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh-oh, oh. These buttermilk biscuits are perfect. They're best served warm. Next time, try making the recipe your own by adding raisins or uh, dried currants to the dough. Or instead of sweet, make them savory by adding a quarter cup of chives and half a cup of grated cheddar cheese. Mm. 
Hey there, Gaster Blasters. How about those buttermilk biscuits? Baking soda plus an acidic component equals a Gaster Blast of fluffy, light leavening. That's what we in the sports room call a double play. But don't add too much baking soda or you might Gaster Blast off out of the kitchen. Poseidon's beard! It's Gastro Bob! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save some buttermilk biscuits for Gastro Bob when he comes back down to the kitchen. <laughs> Eventually. I had a Gastro Blast cooking with you today. See you next time! Hey, IQ!